My name is Amy Markishtam, Maka Nation. I'm the daughter of Dakwadi and Seta Cleewood. I'm also a senior district webmaster for Seattle Public Schools, where I've worked for 30 years. I've been through many website redesigns, and this one is truly unique. The web team did our usual online surveys and asked for feedback. We also met virtually with students and families we don't normally hear from and asked them what was and wasn't working for them. Among other things, we heard that our website should better represent Seattle Public Schools, our students, our families, Seattle, and the Puget Sound region we call home. We decided to find more meaningful imagery and icons. We are honored that a local Northwest Coast native artist agreed to allow us to use one of her designs on our public websites. It made the difference. It really looked like the Pacific Northwest. Native people have been exploited in so many ways and so much has been taken from us and it's misunderstood and you really have to delve into history to understand how much has been taken from our people. So for her to be so generous and trusting and able to um, loan us something, one of her babies, one of her pieces, was really extraordinary and I, I really appreciate it. Not everyone can go see her studio, which was an amazing experience, but hopefully we can um, share a little piece of that with everyone. Please meet Andrea Wilbur Psycho, Squaxin and Skokomish. Yep. So just if you're dishing, if you're like doing a circle, um, that's what that's for. Now this is going to be an actual trigon. I'm Andrea Wilbur Saigo. I'm from the Squaxin Island tribe. Um, I come from the Peterson uh, and Allen family. My grandpa is Bert Wilbur and Dennis Allen. My dad was fortunate enough to have a father um, and then a dad. And his dad is the one that super close to me as a child. My biological grandfather is a big portion of my life now. My grandpa grandpa was Bert Wilbur. Uh, my grandmother is Arlene Peterson. Your trigons are done like this to where they come together. My way of learning was so different. I don't like to say I couldn't do the Shelton School District, but I um, it, it really wasn't my style. So I got a GED and I went to college and I graduated the same year as I would have graduated from from high school, from college, and did uh, information processing systems. Um, I had been doing carving probably for about six years at that point. Um, I was paying my bills with doing my artwork and uh, was shipping beadwork out around the world by the time I was eight years old, um, doing shows at Evergreen State College. Probably about 11 years ago was my first major public piece um, outside of tribal work. This is a house post and um, this is actually really old school Salish. It hasn't been seen. It just hasn't been seen in a long, 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 long time. This represents our weaving um, and the fringe we would have from our pieces. Uh, the other one is People of the Water and she is done up in more blues and goes into uh, our weaving designs. Both of them have weaving designs. We had a language teacher who came and was te helping teach our tribe to speak our language. And he argued that you were not whole if you didn't know our verbal language. Me being in my 20s at the time, I said, that's not true. I, I focus on our written language. He's, he was a non-native person, so he said, you didn't have a written language. And I said, oh, we did. And he said, no, you didn't. Then document, you didn't have one. And I said, we did. It's in every one of those art pieces, every one of those baskets, every one of those carvings, every one of those, heck, every one of those bows has a story and it has a history and it is documented and it's our written language. It is the oldest form of a job that there is. We traded. You have a good carver, guess what? We, we traded for fish. We traded for clams. We traded for whatever we needed and together we all made it work. Part of my job as being a carver is teaching. So these triangles here are in a lot of our old weavings. This one's your crook. The reason is, is the crook that's in that knife right there. I ended up learning to draw on the computer, um, reading contracts, writing stories, and uh, 
where it was able to use that little bit of training and um, you know, or degree and be able to get where I've gotten as far as my artwork. Using the technology that's here in front of me and proving a point that we're living, helping educate a big population of people who we are.